Hello. In this video we'll be looking at the new enhancements in SWID 2017 for SWID design. This video will give an overview of one of the new enhancements for connectors, specifically new functionality to add connectors and groups using interference detection to identify areas where the addition of connectors are required. This video will use a simple TV stand to show how this new functionality works. As you can see, no connectors have been added to this stage. Previously, connectors will be added to the design via a simple drag and drop procedure from the right hand SWID design task pane. However, now we can add groups of connectors using the insert connectors between two components command. As you can see, this highlights all areas that require the addition of connectors. By then selecting connect from the drop down list, I can insert connectors into all of the selected contact faces and click the green tick. Contact areas that already have connectors added are displayed in yellow. I will now select the next group of contact faces I wish to add connectors to. For this group, I will select the two DAL connectors. Next, I will add connectors to the left and right hand sections of the bottom shelf. Finally, I wish to add connectors to the back, but as you can see in this instance, there is a large gap at the back for wires. Rather than applying two connectors, I can apply one and extend its area. However, you can see this leaves a set of cam and dowels in the open section. Any parameters set as visible can also be configured at this stage. We will also leave the central down turned off for this example. This will then add all the connectors to the feature tree that we've just added in this command. As you can see here. To prove this, I can run a SWID design report. By looking at the hardware report, I can see all the hardware that has been added, as well as a range of other information within the report. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact support.